Hello, good morning, guys. is over here. Welcome back to another video. And it's been quite some a few, a few days since my last one. And yes, I am still alive, and everything's going well. But anyways, today we're doing a review, and today's review will be obviously reviewing the SH Marshards Godzilla 1989 Exclusive Edition. Here's the box. I really do like this box design. There's the top, the side shows more of Godzilla, the back showing promotional images, oh god, I, yeah, okay, promotional images, the other side showing Godzilla 1989, exclusive edition, the bottom showing another cool picture of Godzilla, and that's it. And usually I don't share another box because it's basically the usual from the other figures I've gotten, which they're not in this room. But it's the bound box that some, I, that some of my figures, especially martial art figures, come in. But it's just this is what it is, just basically brown box. And before we continue on, I do keep these, as I have mentioned before, that in case if I have to move, that these can basically protect the actual box from my like, damage or anything. So I just keep it because I want to. Anyways, so here is the third var variation of Godzilla 1989. And this was probably my most anticipated figure that I wanted to get. Even though the most, or the most, most anticipated figure I'm still waiting on and still hasn't come in yet. But yeah, this is my most anticipated figure I wanted to get from seeing the promotional images. And I wanted to get this guy on pre-order. But now I have him. Took me some time to find like a reasonable price for this guy because usually you know how expensive these guys can. We all know how expensive these guys can get. Anywho, so not a whole lot to explain about this guy. Only a few minor differences between the original and the I'm calling the KKK Godzilla eighty nine. Which I do have all three. This guy and the two ones I mentioned. Are uh, probably on the shelf somewhere. Uh, probably. Maybe one was not in here. Oh well, I'll look. Anywho. This is a repaint of the original release. That one, the original 1989. The second release, not the KKK Godzilla. And I have to say, you know, this is considered a repaint, and also there's no accessories, which I'm, again, me being me, obviously, that I honestly don't mind if there's no accessories, because just, again, think about it, that more accessories for these guys will probably make the price go up a little bit, like, I could be wrong, and even though they're pretty expensive, because considering how somewhat detailed they can be and whatnot. Anywho, that's just what I think. Anyways, so the reason this one's called exclusive edition is because you can see obviously that the spikes are again these spikes are translucent. And to show I did not bring my phone in here. Oh well. Like if you, I don't know if you can see, well that, I don't have my phone in here, I should have gotten it, oh well. I don't have anything I can set a light on. Oh well. Anyways, this, the spikes are translucent. I, yeah, they're, they're basically translucent. And I really like how, I do like how they look. Like, it's... They're translucent from here 
all the way to basically it ends at uh this one. And I'm not sure that goes for the other one. It goes for the three dorsal spikes on this plate. That's a big one. And the base of the rest of the tail is basically the spikes are basically the same. With a like bonish color. Bonish gray or whatever. Then it just ends right there. And I will have to say that on mine, I don't know if you can see that well. It could be that my camera has bad lighting or I just forgot to take like up close shots of the face that I will have to say. It might be... Uh, which side is it? It... Let's see what side. It would have to be... I'm looking at it. Mine is basically derped. I would say the off thing about mine is that uh, this, I don't know if you can see right well, that this eye looks better than the other eye. Or it could be this eye. I don't know which one it is. So you can see right there, this eye is basically looking up. And this one is, uh, there we go, is like looking this way, but it looks a little bigger. So obviously mine has deaf eyes and like one of the eyes is basically like a big blob. Not in a terrible way, I would, I would have to say that I wish that Bandai did a little bit, should have done better on the eyes, especially with the past releases. Like, pretty much the ones that don't have, uh, I guess it's basically a common issue with these figures, I will have to agree with. That the figures can have dirt eyes, and obviously, it can get very irritating, I have to admit. But obviously, I still like collecting these guys. I've been basically collecting martial arts since I got the 1989, the light and sound one, back in 2018. So that's, I think that's when I started collecting the martial arts line. But either way, but other than the messed up eyes and the, I would have to say the paint, on both eyes. I don't know if you can see it that well. Because obviously the eyebrows are basically making it. Making Godzilla's eyes a bit darker. So I guess and that's why you can't see. Again I should have taken back pictures of the face. Like brighter. But oh well. So anyways. I would say other than the messed up eyes. Paint wise. Again, the master bias as well. That overall, the paint on the hands looks great, like usual. And the feet. Obviously, the spikes. Because they are like that. And, I, and I'm not sure that's actually an improvement from the standard. From the previous release. I'm going to have to get, get the... Uh, the Stand up at least, but it looks like his jaw looks somewhat improved a little bit since the standard release. But the paint looks fine there, especially the, on the teeth and, the, and inside the mouth. So we're gonna compare him to this is a tab angle or whatever. I'm gonna get the three 1989s that I've had since for, for years. He has the, has the original release, original release, and the light in sound. I'm gonna have to put the camera up a little bit. So I have all three eighty nines, night guys all bio goji I should say, and let's take a look at the mouth. To this, well, 
Maybe I was wrong about the jaw. Alright, let's move him out of the way for a minute. Let's see. Compare these two. This is a terrible angle I'm aware of. And... I'm going to pull the camera up a little bit more. Um... I'm not, that, not sure if that's actually an improvement, but, well, they kind of look the same a little bit. So I'm not sure if that's an improvement. I'm saying it looks like an improvement, but I know it's not. This is the standard release as well. So you can clearly see the differences. Well, basically the spikes, obviously. From the spikes. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. So obviously these two are different because this has no spikes um painted or translucent, but this one does. Gonna pull put him back on the shelf. And Obviously, not a good comparison. Here's the standard with the um, KKK Godzilla 89 compared to the exclusive edition one. So that's basically what they look side to side. Obviously, this guy's bigger than the, the original. Well, the two, the other ones I have. Excuse me. And this one obviously looks movie accurate because it does make light and sound, so. And that's what they look like together. So, this is like my favorite possession. The. I must first possession of SH Monster Arts wise. Can, even though my first figure was the Atomic Breath 2014. The Atomic War one. So, that pretty much conclude this review. So, other than the issues I mentioned, especially with the eyes and the paint, basically on the eyes too, other than the issues I've had with this one, being with the, as I just said, the face being dubbed at all, and the paint being a little bit washy, I think this is still a good, a good figure. I still have a soft spot for the Moss Shards line. Because, I don't know, I just do. Even though Hyatt, Hyatt Toys is doing better than Moss Shards, which is good, I should say. But I do collect higher fig the higher toy figures of Godzilla. And I do like, but I do, I do like both lines as well. So that's it for my review. Stay tuned for the next review whenever that will be. So yes, I am still alive. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next review. Toodles!